Now starting with the back nine, this is hole 10 par 4. Here we have our cross headwind. I'm using once again extra mile level 6 with my Titan ball. Full toss spin, full right spin. Keeping the inside portion of the yellow ring just by uh, just by the bunker and the rough there. Max plus 10% is the adjustment. And this time I use max OP since we have a cross headwind. Great shot! Great right left. Both should be safe because we have plenty of room to cover with. But you see, due to that great shot, I took bounce on the bunker boundary. So make sure you hit perfect. Shot number two. Here I'm playing once again with Hornet level four. This shot I played medium distance plus 10%. Again, using all the backspin I have, like which is 2.8 to 2.9 bars of backspin. Like in like on hole number one, keeping my ball cut line short, but in line of the pin. Elevation, medium distance plus 10%. And all you need to do is hit a perfect shot. Perfect shot. I hit perfect and we drop for a sweet eagle once again. Eagle. Hole 11, part 3. Here we have a cross tailwind. We pull out the Merlin ball this time, not a navigator. About 3.1 uh, backspin and 0.5 bars of right side spin. And I guess uh, the mistake I made here was I kept it way towards the right. Elevation max plus twenty uh, max plus twenty percent. Great shot! And I also hit a great shot. It was not a perfect shot. So, we missed this one on the right. Make sure nice you hit shot. perfect and you will be close if not for a hole in one. Hole 12 par 5. Here we have a send it tailwind but I do not have any berserks or any epoch, high level epoch. And using the send it approach on rookie might not be the best approach. So, I'm using Quasar ball with my extra my level 6. Making sure my second bounce is well like 1.5 to 1 rings before the downhill slope starts or the bunker starts. I have my target at plus 1 yard mark adjusting for max plus 10%. Just a regular perfect shot, transporting the ball onto the next fairway. Perfect shot! See, we take a very nice bounce, skipping bunker and the rough. Shot number two, here I played this one for minimum distance of my sniper level seven. I used all the backspin and one bar of left spin, keeping my ball girl in through the hole. The adjustment I used here was minimum distance plus 10%, but I would recommend going like medium distance without any elevation because I missed this one close on the right side of the cup. Perfect shot. say close to the right so maybe medium distance without any nice elevation shot. will be good for the albatross hole 13 par 4 here we have a slightly tailish crosswind once again the same approach merlin backbone and you see i'm trying some spots there and the ball guard line just glitches there i was on the right side of the light green column but i would uh, prefer to be on the left edge of the light green column you will see why i say that no spin whatsoever the adjustment 
was max plus 10%. Perfect shot! We do hit perfect. Camera angle shows we might get close and nice we were close. Off. So a little left and you might drop the hole in one. Hole 14 par 4. Here I was a little uh, distracted due to some calls. So my second shot got totally bossed out. For the drive I used full toss spin 4.5 and one bar of right side spin. So you do not want to go further than maybe like 345 yards i went like 355 yards so make sure you use less top spin max plus 10 percent is the elevation on the drive perfect regular shot. perfect hit and you will see i make this one like 355 to 360 yards which you don't want to once again your target should be like 345 yards somewhere there Now you see that for my second shot, I was at absolute minimum distance of my sniper level 7, you see, absolute there. So, and we also have a tail crosswind, so adjusting for the rings was very difficult here. And um, I played this one, I wanted to play this one for minimum distance minus 30%, but if I move my target on top of the rough, then you see very glitchy ball guideline, which you don't want to deal with ever. So... I tried to lay back my club and use under power instead, but it did not pay well. Ball guard line in line of the pin, trying minimum distance minus 30%, but see, just there. To compensate for that, I used under power, which was not a good idea. Perfect All shot. perfect, not a good idea. So try to go less on the drive and then you can attempt min minus 30%. Hole 15 par 5. Here we have a cross headwind. So this time I'm going to use all the topspin possible on my extra mile level 6. 4.5 topspin and, uh, and about 1 bar of right side spin if I'm not wrong. No, I went like 1.5 right side spin. First, I wanted to start at plus 7 yard mark and then I felt I might go a little short and we also have a slight headwind so I changed my spot there. I changed it to plus 11 yard mark if I'm not wrong. Yeah, at plus 11 and then I adjust for max plus 10%. Because we have a headwind and you do not want to go short on the drive then if you go short on the drive then you might risk the chance of a rough bump with the sniper. Perfect shot. Plus 11 yard mark with the extra mile level 6. Max top spin 1.5 right side spin. A little curl to the right. Max plus 10% elevation. Shot number 2 for the albatross. Here I use the same backspin. I would like about 3 bars. But I use max plus 10%. So I miss this one on the left i recommend going max without any elevation like three bars of backspin keeping the ball guard line through the hole so max plus 10 was a little over adjustment max without any without any elevation you will be very close for the albatross Shot. We do take nice bounce, but very close. So once again, max nice without shot. any elevation. Hole 16 part 3. This time we drop the hole in one with the Goliath and Navigator ball. Once again, if you do not feel comfortable, use the Guardian, max backspin, and you will have an easy putt. Inner yellow ring covering the rough region entirely. About 0.5 top spin. Adjustment, medium distance, plus 10%. Which was about one ring here. You adjust for that and you just hit perfect. Perfect shot. Hit perfect. Very sweet camera angle right at the pin. 
Hole 17, par 4. Here we have a crosswind. Once again, using the Titan ball so that we do not go in between clubs for the second dunk shot. And this time I did score an eagle on the dunk. Max top spin, max right spin. At the plus 10 yard mark, I adjust this one for maximum distance plus 10%. A little curl to the right so that we are close to the pin. Perfect shot. Perfect ball. Now we are at a very good position for our thorn dunk attempt. This is my thorn dunk eagle. The regular dunk setup. First you check the club distance. I was at max distance of my club, max backspin. And you keep the target at the back of the cup. See, right behind the cup. And you adjust true distance of the club. Here I play at maximum distance without any elevation. Now you know Thorn doesn't have a good accuracy, so you need to hit perfect if you want this to drop. Perfect shot. I hit perfect for a sweet dunk. Eagle. Now conclu uh, concluding the tournament, we have hole 18, par 5. We, here we have a tailwind using all the top spin and one bar of right side spin. Adjusting for max plus 10% and then we push it to max. Then first I try to use like 2-3 two, two, rings OP, then I go with max OP. Max OP, try to hit perfect. Great shot! Minute, great right, uh, great left. Still safe on the fairway. You can always go more. Going more is way better than going short on this long par 5. Shot number 2. Here you need to have a power wood club, which would be the big dog or the cataclysm. In my case, big dog level 6. I use about 4 toss pin here, if I can remember. No, I went like 3.1 toss spin and 2 bars of right side spin. Adjusted this one for maximum distance without any elevation. A little curl to the right. Perfect shot! So 3 toss spin was a little too much. Maybe 2.5 toss spin would be better if you want to stay on the green. Here I was on the fringe, but the shot was relatively very easy. The final shot of the tournament, Firefly level 4 from the fringe. Here, once again I thought about taking that massive funnel, but I missed that funnel on the front line, so I did not want to risk it again. So I this time attempt, I attempted, sorry, so this time I targeted the pin from a straight shot. Did not adjust it, just eyeballed it. Great shot! Great left, great right, perfect, will still drop. Eagle. Good luck for your weekend round.